Have you ever wondered why we have 10 fingers and 10 toes? It might seem like an irrelevant question, but the answer is fundamental to our evolution. Fossil evidence has shown that eons ago, tetrapods, which is the scientific word for four-limbed animals, often had more than five digits. This is known as polydactyly. The genus Acanthostega, which lived around 360 million years ago, had eight digits on each foot, for example. Around 15 million years later, however, fossils reveal tetrapods with five digits. So why the relatively sudden reduction? There may be clues in the changes that occurred in the rest of the limb, and where later tetrapods spent their time. Researchers believe tetrapods in the late Denovian period were primarily land-dwelling and had developed limb-bone structure that made walking on land far easier. In comparison, early tetrapods like Acanthostega and Ichthyostega had an L-shaped bone in their upper limbs that may have restricted their mobility on land. Given that they were thought to have spent more time in or near water, it stands to reason that they wouldn't yet need super flexible legs. This change in bone structure and digit number happened around the same time, and it could be that having fewer digits also helped with living on land. At the moment, this is just a theory. Paleontologists don't have enough fossil evidence to reach any solid conclusion. So you may wonder, could humans ever get their extra extremities back? Science says probably not at least not via evolution. There's a well-known principle within evolutionary biology called Dolo's Law. This concept explains that once an organism loses a complex structure, it's unlikely it will get it back. Yet, life is beginning to show exceptions to the rule. Back in 2017, scientists discover a lizard that had re-evolved its ability to lay eggs. Nevertheless, events such as this are still relatively rare. But in the meantime, 10 fingers and 10 toes can do plenty of cool stuff already.